Alex Lintner is the CEO of Experience Software and Technology, taking a few minutes out of his busy schedule to join us here on the trading floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Good morning, great to have you here. It's good to be here, thank you for having me. No doubt about it, Alex, when a lot of people think of the name Experian, they might immediately think of credit report, but there's so much more that goes on. What more about Experian would you want people to know? Well, I've been with the company for 10 years and we've gone through an incredible evolution we still do credit scores for people. In fact, there's about a billion people in the, around the world whose information we have and protect. But we have evolved from that. We now provide services that have nothing to do with the pure credit score, but help banks make decisions around who they should lend to. So we culminate the information in sophisticated software systems. We provide analytics around it, and that's what our uh, clients buy from us. Uh, and of course, it's 2025. Got to mention artificial intelligence. I know Experian is using AI for intelligent financial assistance. What does that part of the business look like for the customers and businesses that Experian serves? Well, you should think about artificial intelligence as having a team member helping you or a whole team helping you. If you got questions, you normally hand it to a team member who does the work for you. Well, you can hand it to AI. So AI can prompt you when there is changes in the environment and therefore you need to adjust your credit models. AI can prompt you when there is fraud being committed and it can stop that fraud before it happens. It is like having additional people on your team. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned fraud prevention and identity verification as well. This is a digital first world. Talk to me more about why that is such a priority for the team at Experian as the, the rules of the game in this digital world continue to shift. 60% of all banking transactions now happen online. It's not like you and I go to the branch to do banking. It happens online, you do it on your phone, you do it on your iPads, you do it where you're not talking to a person. And therefore, deciding within a millisecond whether the information that's being put into the computer is actually accurate, represents a living person, or whether there's a stolen identity needs to happen to protect consumers, and that's the business we're in. The financial services industry heavily relies on Experian data to serve clients. How are you better streamlining that process overall for the industry that you serve? Well, I gave you some numbers earlier about how much information we hold. I'll put that a little bit into tech language. We hold about 12 petabytes of data. That is 24 times as much data as is needed to send a space shuttle into space, have it circle the Earth, uh, I don't know, 42 times, <laughs> have it run 500 experiments and bring back people safely. That amount of data needs to be managed and shown to the people who need to make decisions. We have developed a system called the Ascent Technology Platform, which basically synthesizes the data, shows it in visual form, and therefore allows decision making to be more accurate, more fast, and more secure. And that's one of the fastest growing parts of our business. Yeah, and that sounds very cool, especially in terms of the space imagery that you're able to break down there. For well more than a decade, Experian's Innovation Lab has been leveraging data to develop new initiatives. What does that look like, and what is that? what most excites you about Experian's Innovation Lab? Our Innovation Lab has been around for 15 years, and what I'm proud of is we deal with things there that people start talking about later. So we just talked about Gen AI, we have had the experiments going on, could we build large language models and what could we do with those? How could we defend our data against attacks that leverage Gen AI in our data labs for a couple of years? And three years ago, if we would have stood on this floor, not that many people would have talked about Gen AI, but in that lab, we were already talking about Gen AI and testing it. Is there anything about the innovation lab you could tell us currently that you and the team are working on, I wonder? Well. I talked earlier about assistance. You know, Gen AI can be an assistant to you like a team member or like a whole team that's working for you. So we're building different assistants for different use cases that can help our clients depending on what tasks they're trying to fulfill. Alex, what is your vision for the future of the relationship between FinTech and data innovation and how do you think Experian fits into that? Well, we're doing for the finance industry what Microsoft has done for personal computers. If you, for example, think that you're on a Teams conference, a video conference, virtual conference in this virtual world, a lot of us do that, you're in Teams and, and you're talking to your colleagues and you want to show them some analysis that you you pull up a PowerPoint presentation or a Word document or your finance team might pull up Excel. Well, those are all discrete applications. Microsoft has put them on a platform and therefore you don't need to log out and log back in. You can do all of that on their platform, Microsoft Office, and show it to everybody. In the finance industry, that is what we're building. 
the use cases are different, but we have them integrated into one platform and therefore teams working in different departments in the financial services industry can work with each other without interruption. It's a seamless integration and therefore a much better, more efficient, more productive workflow. Alex Lintner of Experian, congratulations on all the success and thanks a lot for taking the time to join us here this morning.